Good morning. Welcome to Prince of Peace. Today is Tuesday in the fourth week of Advent. Our celebrant is Father Mugaga. Please stand. Star of wonder, Christmas star, oh, so bright and yet so far, high above this holy sight is a glorious light. Star We shall pray during this Holy Mass for the peaceful repose of the soul of Sam Alfano. Also, remembering in a special way Sir Milan Loe, who celebrates his birthday today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble favor may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In those days, Hannah brought Samuel with her, along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine, and presented him at the temple of the Lord in Shiloh. After the boy's father had sacrificed the young bull, Hannah, his mother, approached Eli and said, Pardon, my lord. As you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood near you here, praying to the Lord. I prayed for this child, and the Lord granted my request. Now I, in turn, give him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he shall be dedicated to the Lord. She left Samuel there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. My, my heart, heart exalts, exalts in the Lord, my, my Savior. Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up by my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My, my heart, heart exalts, exalts in, in the, the Lord, Lord my, my Savior. Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering grid on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. 
The barren wife spares seven sons, and the mother of many languishes. My, my heart, heart exalts in, in the Lord, Lord my, Savior. my Savior. The Lord puts to death and give life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. My, my heart exalts, exalts in, in the, the Lord, Lord my, Savior. my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with the nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My, my heart, heart exalts in, in the Lord, Lord my, Savior. my Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The king of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, and he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the readings of today present to us two great women in Scripture, what is particular about them is their humility and their gratitude to God for what he did to them. On the one hand, we have Hannah, the mother of Samuel, who prayed for the gift of her son, and when finally God answered her prayers, she brought her son back to the temple of Shiloh and offered him to God. We are told that she came back to Eli the priest and presented to him the son she prayed for. And in thanksgiving to God, they offered bulls and she left him there. Hannah is a true example of a committed soul. Her thanksgiving took on a very concrete form as she dedicated the boy Samuel to the Lord's service. In the gospel text put for our meditation this morning, we are thankful. We have the hymn of praise, the thankful hymn of praise of our mother Mary, known as the Magnificat. At the heart of the Magnificat is humility and praise. Humility of Ma on Mary's part, as she, as she recognizes her nothingness before God, and the undeserved gifts of grace the Lord has bestowed upon her, and above all, making her the mother of his divine son. She could only respond in humble praise of God. A hymn that focuses on the blessings and favors that go with being humble. 
For she says, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud of heart. He has put the mighty from their thrones. He has exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent empty away. My brothers and sisters, our mother Mary calls on us today, therefore, to shun every form of pride and arrogance, every spitefulness and high-handedness in dealing with others. Let us pray that from the depth of a heart truly converted to God and truly humble, we may, with our mother Mary, offer to God a sincere hymn of thanksgiving for all he has done for us and continues to do for us. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we await with longing the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, let us with renewed devotion beseech his mercy as we pray. For Pope Francis and all the leaders of the church, be filled with a full measure of prophetic spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the nations respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and work for lasting justice and peace for all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local community, respond to the cries for equal and just treatment for all citizens and immigrants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we always protect the vulnerable in our midst, the unborn, the ill, and the dying. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick find in the Christian community a source of hope by the care and concern we show them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who have died believing in the power of Jesus' resurrection will enter eternal life with Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Mother Mary continues to intercede for us each time we pray. Hail Mary. Full of Full grace. grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with, with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among, among women, women. And, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour, hour of death. our death. Amen. Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gifts that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this, this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In the love of Christ and with a wave, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Promise to the 
Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Savior with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>